big story for us. Nobody else was there, just, just the two Channel 19 reporters, Bob Knowles and myself. Dick Curtis and Bob Knowles had been working the story for several days, but when they saw Elvis's manager, Colonel Tom Parker, they knew they were in the right place. After waiting for almost three hours at Huntsville Aviation. And in came Elvis's private jet. We go, oh, this is it, you know. <laughs> Elvis got off the plane and into the back of a limo at 3 in the morning. Here we come. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe we'll get a little interview right past us, you know. Dick and Bob had a pretty good idea the motorcade was going to the Hilton downtown. The chase was on. Coming down Highway 20, going pretty fast, keeping up with them. Bob says, we got to get ahead of them. So we went around the limousine, went around, started going around the chief police uh, Gene Sweeten, and he looked at us, we looked at him, he said, go ahead. <laughs> so we went on ahead. They got to the Hilton before Elvis, but when the limo didn't stop in front, they had to run around to the back to try to catch the king. Dick and Bob were on the sidewalk. He comes up, and he wasn't going to stop, and so I think I said, welcome to Huntsville. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis rarely did interviews, but Dick got what he wanted. Elvis arriving in Huntsville. Went in this door, and I think we put our camera right up to the, the glass, same yeah. door, and he disappeared down the hallway. And that's the last we saw of him until the concert. Elvis did five concerts in three days inside the VBC arena. For obvious reasons, Elvis wouldn't go through the front door of the Hilton on his way to the VBC. He'd actually walk through the kitchen, come out this door, where the police chief had the car waiting for him. Elvis would get in the back seat and, of course, then go for a short ride right over to the Von Brown Center where he'd do his concerts. One of the chefs here at the Hilton tells me that when Elvis came through the kitchen one of those nights, a chef had actually made that famous fried peanut butter and banana sandwich for him. But nothing was sweeter to some Elvis groupies than when they were able to get into room 328 at the Hilton after the king had left the building. They came in, they got the sheets off his bed, they went in the bathroom, <laughs> they stripped the room basically, you know, so they got some souvenirs. Dick caught up with Elvis one last time when he was getting on his plane to leave town. And he saw our cameras and he got up, walked up to the top right before he went in, turned to us and said, thanks for the news. In Huntsville, Jerry Hayes, WHNT News 19.